say thank you to all the listeners out there we want to welcome you to the miko one show our guest today is carmen francis hello carmen francis, hello. we just want to say thank you and welcome welcome you to the miko one show i am the host cricket i just want to talk a little bit about your podcast the come up top of your game what is the motivation behind starting a podcast so the reason why we started the podcast was we were trying to help the business community. So our goal was to help entrepreneurs, small business, and we also throw in there some social discussion and everyday event. So the real goal behind it is helping our small business and entrepreneurs. Amen. When a customer takes a good look at your company, what is the main focus behind the message? So we focus more in helping our entrepreneur and the small business by giving them information such as how to build their credit, how to get loans, like all the loans that was offered last year through COVID. So we talk more about the SBA loans such as the PPP. So we gave um, instructions. It's like a 30 minute video on how you can apply for those loans. And we also do customer service you know, telling our customers how they can better serve their client when they come into their business. So improving their customer service. So that's great. So business entrepreneurs, this is a podcast that would be very beneficial, very, very, very educational because every business, even ministry needs resources and finances to take their business and entrepreneurship to the next level. Yes. So that's wonderful. Your first co-host, really your first guest, but I want to call it your first co-host. You have an amazing testimony behind the test that God has given you. Share with us the story behind the first co-host. The testimony of our, my first guest. So we started the podcast off. Um, my friend Nell and I, we started the podcast. So I was motivated to give back and he is also at the time, he was a financial specialist and he was an insurance agent. He owned his own business. So we wanted to share our knowledge that we had with the community by giving them information. Well, recently last year, Nell passed on in October. So um, his friend that had introduced us together, Michael Van Tool, decided that he wanted to continue the mission that we started. And so he joined the team with me. So now I have Mr. Michael Van Tool as our new host, but our previous host has gone on to, to be with the Lord and he's really truly missed. So thanks for asking about that. Testimony is beautiful. Thank you, thank you. Michael Van Tool is a beautiful person. Yes, Mom, he is. Talk, love he, him to death. He love is very, death. very good. I really appreciate him. He stepped right in. Um, he was very excited about joining. And I love his networking and fellowship skills that he brings a lot of people together a lot of people that's able to build off each other amen amen well my thing is god always prepare you for something you never know what god is preparing you for so you always have to be that you have to be ready you have to be ready at all time because you know looking at looking back at my life and i look at cornell and i relationship and friendship i didn't know the lord was going to take him before me I mean, so we have to be prepared for what God has in store for us. Looking at some of the feature stories that you have displayed on your podcast, share with us, and there's so many social features, share with us some of the social features you have displayed. So um, some of our social topic, like the first one we <coughs> talked about, we had a mindfulness coach on there and her name was Kristen May and she really talked about how you have to be mindful in the space and just meditation. So her topic was mindfulness and meditation. We had a gentleman in there that's a Detroit, um, he is a movie art um, pr producer, director, and he has his own you know, production company here in Michigan that he does like movie 
and we spoke with him once and he had a very good um, topic to talk about. We talked with a gentleman that has an amazing topic. Um, let me get you, I'm gonna get you some of these, okay? So, so the top topic in our podcast is the three changes in American, in America that are sure to change the American culture. That was the top one. And then we also had the Detroit Flint Maker discussing the component of making a movie. That was one of our other top one. We also had the Tribute to Now, that was also a top social discussion that was really good. And the interview with, um, uh, his name is Israel Wright, Professor Israel Wright. What really stood out to me was the young lady, Najere Elam. She's trying to do something great for the community with young ladies from the ages of 16 to 21. She's located in Pontiac and she's opening a sister home for a young lady to help take them off the street. And so she was on, also on our podcast. She was one of our hosts back in, I think that was around August. And she's still working on that project right now. She um, also is planning on developing um, community um, get together and volunteer work. So I really, she really stood out on our podcast, Nasha Ray. Awesome. When starting your own podcast, what was some of the logistics or some advice you can give people that you wish you had known before starting your own podcast? Well, to be honest, I'm not tech savvy. So I had to learn that I need high-tech microphone in order to sound great. But when we first started our podcast, we were just using our earpiece. So I'm glad I had the opportunity to build and got, you know, get a nice microphone that was able to, you know, make that podcast more presentable. And I learned a lot. I also want to do videos. So I just got to get out of my little shell that I'm shy to do videos and get out there and do some YouTube videos. So, look, I'm on camera today. So. Amen. See, this is coming out of your shell, girl. It's a motivate me, motivate me. Yes, I think as um, I thank you for motivating me. You know, just getting out here. So yes. In closing, give us a, an encouraging word for people that's just starting out and doing podcasts. Well, my encouraging word to, would be. Um, don't stop what you're trying to do. Motivate yourself. If you just start a podcast, you have to get out there and create content and um, just motivate yourself. Don't give up. Because if you have something to tell the world, podcast is the way to go. And if you're shy like I am, start your own podcast. It'll just eventually, you'll get comfortable and want to share everything that you got all up here. Amen. I want to say thank you to Carmen Francis for being a part of the Me Cold One show and the Come Up Top of Your Game CEO podcast. Well, started. thank you very much. It was truly a blessing. Thank you. Thank you. The Me Cold One show would like to say thank you again, Carmen Francis, for being our guest. Such a blessing. I always close with a prayer. Father God, right now, in the mighty name of Jesus, we just like to say thank you for coming. Thank you for her life. Thank you for the destiny that you have placed in her belly, Father God. Uplift, encourage her, and take her to the next level. Praying for networking, fellowship, unity, Father God, where everyone can come together and we can do an exchange, not just with the Holy Ghost, because you are experienced. You are our Alpha and our Omega of our lives. But Father, take us to the next level and networking where we can stay as a family, as unity, and speak power to the nations. We ask these many blessings in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen.